Hi, Tim Mike Chip here with Divorce661.com. In this video, we're talking about the length of marriage you use to calculate when filing your petition. So when you're going through a divorce, you're going to file, file an FL100 petition form. When you file, it's going to ask you for a date of marriage and date of separation. The date of separation terminates the length of marriage. Therefore, the length of marriage that you include on there as far as the years and months is going to be from the date of marriage to date of separation. And that can be different from the date of filing or the date that you're filling out the form. So if your date of marriage was six or date of separation was six months ago, you're going to calculate from the date of marriage to date of separation only, not to the current date for length of marriage. In addition to that, your divorce length of marriage does not continue to accrue. Let's say if your divorce takes six months or a year, you, you, your length of marriage discontinues and you will use that length of marriage from the petition on all forms following, including the judgment. Tim Blankenship, Divorce661.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.